everyone back for another review. Today we're doing the latest My Hero Academia movie. Now to just give you some subtext and where I'm coming from. I really enjoyed season one. I like season two. Season three right now has been the pinnacle. I enjoyed the first movie. The second movie I thought was awful. Fourth season had its ups and downs as far as storytelling wise. I, season 5 was awful. So, this is supposed to take place during the middle of season 5. So let's talk about the third movie, World's Heroes Mission. See if you can somehow factor in. You know there's always more than one way. World's Heroes Mission is the story about a cult by called by uh, Human Rise. Humane Rise, who are against people who have quirks. And the very start of this movie starts off with them sending out a bomb where it causes anyone with a quirk to, it seems like, evolve their quirk to the point where they explode. So right in the opening scene, thousands of people are killed. So all the heroes are dispatched to several different countries, no, more than several, 25 to be exact countries, to try to stop these people because they know that they have more bombs. And eventually we have our three leads of the movie, Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki in this country where they accidentally get mixed up with a robbery that a, a person by the name of Rhodey who's made up just for this movie and where um, because it's a jewelry heist and cases get mixed up Deku ends up with a case everyone sees this and assumes that Deku is the one who robbed the jewelry store so Deku's on the run and this movie is Boring is all holy hell. They did not learn anything from the last movie, My Hero Academia. Heroes doing minimum wage jobs. This movie's bad. Not only is it bad, it's uninteresting in all the way. They learn nothing in this movie. I'm not going to lie. If I want to say anything good, I thought the animation was pretty. I'm not so sure about the animation when they actually fight. It still looks like one of those like 1990 anime where the animation looks solid when people are doing regular things and then when they have to fight they become all flexy and stuff. Also I don't think the fight the fights were choreographed well because I there are times in fights I was just like I have no idea where I am in conjunction to where anything is supposed to be. This movie took one of the big one of the big flaws from the last movie and ramped it up. One of the the, the story was so flimsy in the second movie, Heroes Rising. Here and because like literally like the last 40 minutes of the movie is just a bunch of different fight scenes happening with no story involved. Here they said we can ramp it up. We're gonna have no story involved and we're gonna have little to no fights. The first fight scene I don't think happens until like the middle of the movie and then the second fight scene happens a couple of minutes later and then the last fight scene is like the last 15 minutes where it goes into the tired trope of we have three heroes going into the bad guy's lair and then slowly one by one has to stop to fight a villain so we have one character the main character fighting the last person this movie is also a buddy road trip which would oh my god once uh, Deku is framed for this he's on the run but he's on the run with the person who was supposed to get um, the briefcase from Hero Rai, um, uh, yeah, Hero, Human Rai, Human Rise, and they just go on this buddy road trip that's like, 
literally takes up a lot of the second act, complete with its own montage, complete with its own song. And, oh my god, I didn't give a, I didn't give a, a rat's behind about Rory. Rory is the character who has two uh, brother and sister that he's leaving behind. He has dreams. He had hopes. And he also comes with a tra tragic backstory. And I could care less about him. He's another character that they created for this movie who is non-canonical. This movie would... It has nothing to do with the main story like the other two, but at least the first one was good. Second one was garbage. And this one is just boring. I never cared. I I really believe, just to make a, um, a brief synopsis of where my hero is going wrong, is they really don't understand like the class as a whole is really the story. Not this jackass Bakugo. Yes, Deku is the main character, but he's... Whatever, it's a collection of characters. And if you came into this movie to see characters like Kirishima, Tokoyami, um, Tenya Ida, Uraraka, and, and the rest of the Class 1A, don't worry, they're in this movie for seconds. Also, the bad guy is just so generic. You had a chance to make this... And also, it doesn't make any sense because you also have the Meta Liberation Front coming up. So, these bad guys like really didn't make any sense and they really don't show up. They're at the beginning of the movie and the end of the movie. The middle of the movie, they completely disappeared, including their leader, who has a less memorable name, and I'm not going to look it up because I don't care. And I don't care about his story that they tell at the last 10 minutes, when he's only been in this movie for about 10 minutes. He's so generic. There is a germ of a story in this movie that's being suffocated to death. And it's frustrating. Because I really like these characters, except for Bakugo, because he's a jackass. And it devolves in all the tropey ways in the third act. Where, yes, the characters get split up so that one by one so they can fight villains. And yes, it goes one by one, each one falls so we can have, as it was said in the um, American Dad episode, the all is lost moment. I really hated this movie. And it's just a continuing effect. That 2021 is terrible for animated movies. This really made me want to go watch Ron Gone's Wrong, Ron's Gone Wrong again. Because that was a good movie. This is bad. I literally sat there being bored and not caring about anything all at the same time. While still liking the characters. Oh my god, these movies... Uh, My Hero Academia has easily become one of the most frustrated fran frustrating franchises for me to watch. If you're going to see this movie, please let me know what you think. Because I had, I had one person who, when the, the credits started rolling, clapping. And I was like, this movie's terrible. I was strangely bored by the lack of fighting. Bored by the lack of any development for the villains. Bored by the fact that it was so bland and there were no fights. And it wasn't even funny. This movie sucks ass. I hated this movie. I knew, and oh, by the way, if you saw those suits in the, um, in the trailer and that's in the marketing materi material, don't worry, this movie lies to you the whole time. By the way, I know that the three characters that are pushed in the front in the marketing material, are Todoroki, Deku, and Bakugo. Guess what? Todoroki and Bakugo are completely missing from the second act. They're there for two phone calls. That's it. This movie is awful. Oh, I almost want to give it a lower score. No, I'm going to give it a lower score. I give My Hero Academia Heroes Mission, Heroes whatever mission, which is an unruly title, whatever the hell it's called. I'm going to give it a 1. This movie pissed me off. 
And not only did it piss me off, it was boring. This franchise is actively, actively making me want to hate it. That's my rant for today. I might have a movie review tomorrow. If not, I'll see you sometime next week. Have a good weekend and enjoy your Halloween. If you saw this movie, you enjoyed it, please let me know why. Because <laughs> I can't find anything. Other than the animation is nice. This movie is inconsistent and incomprehensible and just, I, I never cared about anything going on. And it never gave me a reason to care. Other than the fact that I know these characters from places that I used to like them. So that's all for today. Bye. But I finally woke up if you're sad and it's time you